Well, welcome to Texas. Man, what a start the day has been. I, this is my second day in the San Antonio area, and uh, we just walked uh, on this field. There, there's probably 40, 50 deer over there and some giant bucks. Good thing I have my camera to zoom in on them. Sideways, you can really see how tall he was. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome right there. There's another one right there. Where's he at? There was two tall ones. Oh yeah. Oh. Maybe. Cause the ear to ear. Oh, there's a giant laying down. Is there? Look how wide this rack is. Looks like an elk. Now we're fishing this awesome place. We're gonna turn our attention to some giant fish. Hopefully, big old sunfish. And this is where uh, the, dish, the water is discharged out of a tre water treatment plant and going into some crystal clear uh, uh, like spring water. So it's just really cool water. It's, got, it's an amazing place. Whenever I turn around here and view this, it's going to be awesome. So let's get ready to get on some fishing. All right, this may be uh, a little undersized, two pound line. Uh, I see some sunfish right down in there and there could be some big ones. Um, I hope it doesn't take long to hook into something. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. Oh, he feels like a giant in this water. Nice. Fish number one. Red breast. Boom. I think we're going to wear them out today. I love just catching anything, especially some big old sunfish. There's one. There's one. Oh, just fighting. Oh, nice. Woo! That's a good red breast. Man. Ah. That is a good one. Yeah. That's about average size. Right oh, here. That, there he goes back in. Yeah, I may uh, have to upsize my line. All right, that was a pretty good fish. If I catch anything bigger than that, I don't know if I'm gonna get him in. Oh, 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 I didn't know I had one on. Get out of there. Dude, once they get in that water, it's hard to get them out. Oh, yeah. red breast, it's red breast, red breast. Yep. Oh, nice. They got a nice Rio Grande cichlid. Hooked up. Boom. We got a oh, red breast. It's crazy. Red breasts are just all over the side. Oh, look at that snake. He just ate something. Oh, he went in a hole. I don't know if we saw it. He had a big old uh, swell in his belly. Oh, oh, yes. What is it? Oh man, this guy feels so strong. Red breast. Trying to get me a cichlid. Uh, I know there's the cichlids in here. Got it. Whoa, what dude's flying. I saw him looking at it. Red breast. Man, there's so many of these red breasts right here. And uh, also, red breast aren't native here, they were stocked here a long time ago. And, uh, cause mostly they're on the East Coast. They're doing pretty good though, definitely thriving. Oh, there's a big, what is that, a gar? I think that's a gar. Oh, oh, what do I got? Another big red breast. It's a pretty good one right there. I still think the biggest one I caught was one earlier that I lost, but look at that guy. Look how big that dude is. All right. Man. 
That's a good one. I gotta get, I can't get one of those out of here so far. There, they seem like those trees right there. I'm tossing over in that deeper area. I might have to put a bobber on to let it sink lower, I think. There's something. I saw that come up and hit it. What is it? Oh, oh, it's a bluegill. My first bluegill. All right, there's a bluegill, another sunfish. Pretty colors on that go. Thought my battery was dead. Oh, right. I'm gonna change up to one of my favorite panfish lures, little Nico uh, caddy fly on a bobber. See if that will get some of these fish to bite. I know there's more fish out there. They're being hesitant to hit. I got a different, I took the bobber off. I should maybe put it back on. Right there. I gotta give me a few, I gotta get a few cichlids for this video. Yep. Oh yes. What is that? Maybe a red breast. It's a big one if it is. Yeah. Oh, big old red breast. You're right. That's the right spot. Derek said cast right there. Oh, let me just get back. Get up here. There you go. <laughs> that is a big one. Oh, man. Their mouths aren't as big. They're not? No, the ones in um, Tennessee have bigger mouths. But look at that, that is cool. They're so cool looking. Man, these guys can put up a fight. <laughs> oh, yes, there it is. There it is. That's the fish I've been looking for. I caught one, uh, some little ones yesterday but nothing this size. Look at those little guys. Look at that little teeth they got. Those fish are Pretty so cool. fish. Are these uh, na like native or have they been just put in? No, they're native. They're native. All right, that was what I was looking for. Maybe I can get another one. Man, these guys are thick. Ah, thick. Ah, thick. Ah, thick. Ah. They're hard. And hard to hang on to. He's back in the water. Bluegill? Bluegill. Oh, 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 yeah. Get up here, get up here. Another cichlid. Nice. They're definitely over here in this spot. Not. You're tearing up the bad. cichlids now. Not a big bluegill, but. Yeah. You catch, so you don't catch a lot of bluegill here? Or? I do, it's just, oh. it, this, this spot's so weird, it's like they'll all be congregated in one certain yeah. area or mixed in, and obviously the cichlids and redbreast are mixed in right here, but. Oh, yeah, that guy started taking off with it. Where you at, where you at? Little redbreast. Yeah, you don't know what you're gonna get. I'm just throwing this thing out there, letting it sink, and uh, kind of picking up on it a little bit, kind of reeling it just slow to keep it off the bottom. It's a few feet deep, maybe twitch it a couple times. And most of the time, most of the fish I've caught, they've just, they've hit it, they've been there like sitting on it almost. Like as soon as it hits the water, it starts falling, that's when they grab it. So um, most of the time it's right away if I'm gonna get one. But sometimes I'll be reeling it in and they hit it too. Like that right there. I was reeling it in and that guy hit it. Well, that was a bass. That makes sense. They're even gonna do more reaction. Oh, oh, yep. There he is. I just kind of picked up. And there was a fish there. Ow! Don't pin me.
Oh yeah. I thought I felt a little tug, but what they're doing, they're just taking it and swimming off of it. I don't even know they're on there until I pick up on it. Wow, this feels good. Oh, he's a big red breast. He just got me turned all around. No, wait, it's a big blue. Is that a bluegill? Let's see if I can get it up here. Ah! Get out of there. Nice! Don't come off. Oh, man. Ooh, that's a hog bluegill. Derek! Derek! That's a bluegill! Look at this bluegill. What a pretty fish, too. Here's the hardest fighting fish I've caught today. Nice. I knew there were some bigger ones in there. Yeah, he, he pulled me way over there. That's awesome. Oh, oh, it's just like a good one. Oh, yes, it's a red breast. This guy is fighting. Dude, this is a slab red breast. Oh, man. Check that guy out. Oh my goodness. New PB red breast right there. I keep thinking we're about done or I'm about to change up to something else and I keep catching something awesome. Look at that guy, so cool. Like I got big hands and he covers up my whole hand. It's like a crappie. This hole. It's endless up here. Sure. <laughs> it was in that tree. Derek got him another good cichlid. Dude, talk about an awesome spillway loaded with giant sunfish, panfish. I don't know what a cichlid is. Is that a sunfish? I'm not even sure. I guess cichlid may be its own fish. But I uh, caught a couple of those. Derek caught some really good ones. The big old red breast. I had the biggest red breast ever caught. Some, uh, a couple of nice bluegill just on tiny little lures. It was uh, so fun catching them on two pound line. I love those spillway places, especially when they're just loaded with fish. That always helps out. Like I said, here, right here, right outside of San Antonio. So thanks for watching. Go check out Derek's channel. I'll leave information. And uh, I'll leave information on the lures and stuff I used today because they worked well. There's a little buck. Oh yeah, I see him. There's one standing there. That limb was walking away. They're not real wide, but they're just real, I mean, we're looking at them from quite a ways away, but. Yeah, when I zoom in on them, they look really good. They look like they're like 20 inches wide, maybe. Because they're ear to ear. Oh, there's a giant laying down. Is there? Look how wide this rack is. Looks like an elk. Look at these two on my camera right now. Oh, oh my God. Move out of the way. This, this, there's the one behind that one's bigger rack. Oh, get out of the way. Look at that rack back there. Oh my gosh. That is an elk. I can see him now. You can just see the rack. Oh, there he is. That is a big one. Those two right there are just giants. 